This is a very quick jump start into the Avastar user interface. So, let's begin. First, we create a new Avastar character in the Object Add menu. The Avastar character and its rig, both are identical to the Second Life Avatar. As soon as we have an Avastar character in the scene, then most of the Avastar functions are located in the Properties sidebar of the 3D view. Here, you find three vertical tabs, Avastar, Rigging, and Retarget. More panels are located in the Properties Editor. In the Armature Object section, you find Hand Gestures and Face Expressions. In the Object Data section, you find a panel that is used to show or hide the parts of the avatar meshes. And in the Render Properties section, we added an animation exporter which supports the internal Second Life animation format and also the BVH format. Avastar also has importers and exporters located in the Blender file menu. The most important exporter for our purposes is the Avastar Colado exporter, that copies your mesh creations from the Avastar rig to Second Life. But note, the exporter is only enabled when you have selected at least one mesh in object mode. There is also a template section where we have prepared ready-made scenes for your convenience. And finally, we have added links to our documentation website. You find those links in the Blender help menu. You find everything else in the documentation. Now stop watching videos and start creating meshes. And have fun. Hey, sheep, that wasn't half bad. bad. You ain't seen mutton yet. Bad. Ooh, they're just gonna flock to this one. Bad, 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 bad. Will you teach me how?